See, watchfulness is not just making sure we're watching for Jesus' return. It's being watchful for the fact that there's going to be a thief that comes too. In the same way that we watch for the master's return, we're watchful knowing that there will be thief that tries to come too. And if we're not watching, he's coming at an hour when we don't know, and so is the Son of Man. And I think it's just something I want to leave us to consider at this time that what is it in our life that just seems so important, seems so overwhelming, seems so critical that we get an answer to it or get it figured out or accumulate enough money or stuff or whatever it is, whatever the stuff is. We all have stuff. Come on, I have stuff, so I know you have stuff. We have stuff that we just feel like it's, if we think about it too much, we get stressed out. Sometimes it's relational, sometimes it's material, sometimes it's who knows what. We all have stuff, but if that stuff in the cares of this life anchor our soul to a place of not being free to just watch with joyful expectation for when he's coming back for us, we are at risk of missing the greatest moment that's ever going to happen and it will ever happen in, in, the, in the cosmos. The return of the creator for the completed restored bride, his church, those who believe in him and have made themselves ready by the Holy Spirit to receive him.